Hello my fermented fidget spinners. Eating humans is a pretty weird and messed up thing to do, but not if you are a pig. For then it is completely normal as pigs are willing to nearly eat about anything. If you still think it's messed up that pigs eat humans in the game, then you might be a bit of a hypocrite. But you didn't hear me say that. You guys seem to absolutely love my previous video as it's still being watched and liked as I speak. Even though it was mildly underwhelming. So yeah, here is another, for I am a man of the people. I also make other good stuff, by the way, wink wink. Before we get into all the juicy shit that is all the new information about Human Farm, I would like to let you guys know that this video counts as an update to my previous released video on this game. So if you haven't watched that, then I advise you to do so, as it is the foundation this video will build upon. The link to that video will be in the description and maybe on screen if I manage to figure out how that even works. This video combined with the previous video should answer all questions you might have about Human Farm, and let me know if I missed one. But I highly doubt it as I'm a model of efficiency. For those that haven't seen the past video yet or have no idea what I'm talking about, I won't leave you feeling left out. Here is a quick summary of the game. Human Farm is a game where you farm humans as a pig for the meat industry. Your aim is to make the biggest human meat industry in the town slash city. Now it wasn't that quick, if you want a more complex explanation, you know what to watch. Let's get into it. Since the last update, there have been a couple of new posts and news. They mentioned a house that will be owned by you, the player. This house has ran in the ailing family for some time and is quite frankly, a total and utter shithole. With hard work and determination, you'll be able to turn the place around. So get your hooves dirty and covered in human blood, and fix the mansion for your clumsy son. And yes, they mentioned a son, so it seems like you will be a parent of some sort. And considering you have a child, maybe even a wife? Because babies usually don't come falling out of the air, you know? Maybe the family scenario will be like the trailer with the wife and kids. You know, like the wacky dancing trailer they released? In between video uploads, it was also Dark Day in Poland, so the devs let us know that although the world is dominated by pigs, there's also other minorities living among them. Like dogs, for example. Minorities, just like in real life, gotta love it. Now keep your hands where I can see them, you dirty furries. Now we all know that in human farm you'll be butchering these poor human souls in your factory a lot. But nobody is capable of running such a place on his own. Not even this beautiful hunk of meat. Here is where the devs introduce your poorly paid employees, also described as pig imbeciles. They might be total imbeciles, but they will be somewhat intelligent behind all that. This was a design choice that had to be taken to prevent the player from having to do every single thing in the factory on their own. Honestly, now I think about it, calling an NPC in a game stupid is pretty smart because if the code fucks up, you can just say, nah, that was intentional, it's just stupid. I honestly don't know why that popped into my mind, but it's just food for thought, you know? Before you can put these hardworking and very smart pigs to work, we need something that they can work on in the first place. Just like real life, this is done by supply and demand. So if the shop wants some hot dogs and burgers, it will place an order for you to fulfill. Before this product reaches the shop, it will have to go through a few different processes. This is where the order flow system comes into play, so let's get into it. I draw it myself for y'all because reading that chalkboard shit was starting to hurt my eyes. So first, the order gets placed at the shop, which will then go to the packaging department. If they don't have enough packaged food at the packaging department, it will go back to the processing room to ask for more. If the processing room doesn't have any, then the order goes to the cold room and so forth. This will go on and on till it reaches the starting point, which is the farm. The human farm. If I misunderstood this whole process, then I'm sure one of you guys will correct me. In the end, this whole system should result in a seamless cycle of production. Gotta love that sweet efficiency. Now of course, the most interesting element of all of this is of course slaughtering the humans, right? Cause we're all sadistic as hell. The developers did explain a bit how the slaughterhouse process line looks like and how exactly your employees work in it. It was honestly a massive pain in the ass to read the images. I seem to just not like chalkboards. Here is how it is envisioned. Wait, you don't know what you're looking at? No, I didn't either. I will explain. L let's scrap this. You have different steps to butchering humans with different slots at different processes in your slaughterhouse. Let's say we have four steps to process a human. These steps will be made up by me as I don't know exactly the amount of steps there are. Let's say step 1 is kill, 2 is skin, 3 is the gut and 4 is chopping them up. Every single one of these steps has slots where you can assign workers. So the workers only work if the human gets to that particular process. When there is no job at their assigned station they will just afk and wait. 
So let's say the production is at step 1, which is putting the humans down. Then the people at stage 2, the skinners, will be AFK till the person is ready to be skinned. That's pretty much what I think it comes down to, it's like an assembly line. As far as I know, this is all the information that got released since the last video on this game. Let me know if you guys want me to post updates on games more often, then I will definitely consider it. But wait, 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 hold on a minute. In my previous video, which was uploaded in May 2021, I mentioned that the developers were aiming to release the game in the end of 2021, and first release a Kickstarter. It seems they missed the mark on both of these estimates. The developers said it was because they wanted the game to be bigger than they planned, because many people were so excited for it. And they didn't have an experienced developer to get all of this done. Now this seems like a very strange reason to me, especially since there isn't that many people writing in the Discord or liking the posts on Steam. Like is a few hundred people eyeballing the game considered a lot? I would argue that anything under that amount is kind of underperforming to be honest. But maybe the game was supposed to be a simple and short game instead of a more complex game that the fans expect it to be. So that's fair enough, the only weird thing is that they said that their developer wasn't experienced enough. But I get it, we all make excuses. Now naturally, them not showing anything on their planned dates made me a bit skeptical, so I wanted to find out what release date might be set to now. After a bit of digging, it seems like they decided to put the Kickstarter on the back burner as they say there can only be one Kickstarter at a time. And they chose for one of their other games called Chainsaw of Fury to be on Kickstarter instead. But now you might ask yourself, okay, how about the demo they promised? Oh yeah, we forgot about that too, oops. Now this demo will still happen. The demo is currently set to release on the next Steam Next Festival in 2022, which is around the end of February. If this will actually happen is up for time to tell. Now you guys might be noticing that my expectations don't sound very high, but from what I've seen so far is that the developers are not good at planning and make promises they can't uphold, so yeah, you can see why. But until the Steam Next Festival we will have to wait and see if they will walk the talk. Meanwhile, we will be dreaming of eating humans? In game of course.